Besar Besar With love With love Name of the writer Eustace Edward Ricardo Breakwit First I am going to explain the introduction of the writer Eustace Edward Ricardo Brethwaite was born on 1912 and died on 2016. Known as E.R. Brethwaite was a Guyanese born British American novelist, writer, teacher and diplomat best known for his stories of social conditions and racial discrimination against black people. He was the author of the famous 1959 autobiographical novel To Serve With Love. E.R. Brethwaite was known as the famous writer of Guyanese British American novelist. He was a teacher diplomat and well-known social story writer. He had focused on the important subject and that subject was social discrimination about the black people. To Sir With Love is an autobiographical novel of, novel of E.R. Brethwaite. E.R. Brethwaite. In the Jenma Ekonishi Bara Made Gainis Gayana Matis Halao. A British American Kadamarika. A British American Kadamarika Munu Yenchi Ulakahe. Vishesta Suraticha Kalamade Kadamarika Lake Shiksha Arni. राजदूत अशा वेगवेगळ्या भूमिका या माणसाने आपल्या कारकिर्दीमध्ये निभावलेल्या आहेत त्याच्या कादंबरीमध्ये तो सर्व इथ लव त्याच्या कादंबरीमध्ये महत्त्वाचा जो विषय आहे तो म्हणजे सोशल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन अबाउट ब्लॅक पीपल वांशिक वर्णभेद जो आहे काळा गोरा वर्णभेद जो आहे या काळ्या गोरा वर्णभेदावरती जास्ती जास्त परखड लिखाण करण्याचं काम या ब्रेथवेटने केलं आणि विशेषतः to serve with love he kadambari er brethwaite yanchi atma charitra par kadambari ahe second paragraph he also wrote kind of homecoming about his tour of africa a choice of straws novel set in london and reluctant neighbors a memoir and treatise about racism brethwaite's numerous writing primarily deal with the difficulty of being educated black man, black social worker, black teacher and simply human being who found himself in a set of inhuman circumstances. He had written another novel, the name of that novel is Kind, Home, uh, kind of Homecoming, about his tour to Africa, a choice of straws, those novels are set in London. Reluctant Neighbors, Memoir, all those novels are also related with racism, social discrimination, how the educated people from the black community are facing number of problems in America, in the white community, whether they are educated or not educated. But he had taken into account all educated people in his novel. Those are teachers. They are simply human beings and he himself, he himself black, black man and he in the same novel he has explained the inhuman circumstances given by the white people to him. Here Brethwaite has written the first time of 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 the first time. Homecoming about tour of about tour of 
अमेरिका आणि चॉईस ऑफ स्ट्रॉज नॉवेल इन लंडन नॉवेल इन लंडन मेमोर अँड ट्रेटाईज अबाउट द रेसिझम ब्रेथवेट आणि ती कादंबरी लिहिले इन ह्युमन सर्कमस्टन्सेस जे आहेत अमानुषतेची वागणूक अमानुषतेची वागणूक कशा प्रकारे काळा लोकांना दिली जाते याचा समावेश त्यानं आपल्या आत्मचरित्र पण कादंबरीमध्ये केलेला आहे टू सर्व विथ लव्ह इज अन ॲटो बायोग्राफिकल नॉवेल द नॅरेटर इज अन एंजिनियर बट मेक बोथ एन्ड स्मिट ही ॲक्सेप्ट द जॉब ऑफ टीचर इन रफ लंडन ईस्ट एंड स्कूल द स्कूल इज फुल ऑफ ट्रबल मेकिंग स्टुडंट्स टू वेअर रिजेक्टेड फ्रॉम अदर स्कूल टू देअर बिहेवियर ॲट द बिगिनिंग द नॅरेटर इज रिडिक्युल्ड अँड बलीड बाय द स्टुडंट्स बट लेटर his calm demeanor and desire to see them succeed gradually earn him their respect to sir with love is an autobiographical novel of er brethwet actually sir er brethwet was engineer but he had he had not the chance to work as a engineer in america in a white society so i decided to accept the profession to accept the profession of teacher and he was teaching as a teacher in east end school that east end school was very famous for for the ill behaved student that is trouble making students this number of trouble making students were available in the same school in the same school er brethwet was teaching and in the primary stage he was bullied he was troubled by this white student but he had taken it easily because he knew that the business of teacher is a sober business adjustable business so he had tried to understand the trouble making students in the same area whether they are ridiculed or bullied to him but later later on he was succeed in his profession and he was a darling teacher he was a respectable teacher of the same community this is short introduction of the writer now summary of the novel <laughs> to serve with love is a work of fiction based on the life of author er brethwet the main character er brethwet work as an engineer in oil refinery he served in a royal british air force in the war after the war being a black person he was unable to find employment as a last resort he applied to school become a teacher surprisingly he was accepted at the greenslade greenslade school in london's east end and set to teach the senior classes of the school In the first paragraph of the summary, uh, To Serve With Love is an autobiographical short story, short story of the writer E.R. Brethwet. In the same story, the main character is the writer himself, E.R. Brethwet. He was an engineer and he worked as he worked as an engineer in oil refinery and in the Royal British Air Force at the time of the second world war but after retirement he was unable he was unable to find employment anywhere so finally he had taken decision to do the to do the service as a teacher in east end london and he was teaching he was teaching senior students or the senior classes of the school सदाची कादंबरी जी आहे टू सर्व विथ लव ही लेखकाची आत्मचरित्र पण कादंबरी आहे या कादंबरीमध्ये प्रामुख्याने महत्वाचं जे कॅरेक्टर आहे ते स्वतः लेखक आहे ई आर ब्रेथवेट ई आर ब्रेथवेट हे व्यवसायानं इंजिनियर आहेत एका तेल शुद्धीकरण प्रकल्प तेल शुद्धीकरण तेल शुद्धीकरण कंपनीमध्ये ते स्वतः काम करत होते सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर जो आहे दुसरं महायुद्ध जे आहे या दुसऱ्या महायुद्धामध्ये सुद्धा त्यांनी सहभाग घेतलेला होता 
परंतु त्यानंतर त्यांना कोणत्याही प्रकारची नोकरी किंवा व्यवसाय मिळणं अवघड झालं आणि अवघड झाल्यामुळं ए आर ब्रेथवेट यांनी अंतिम निर्णय घेतला तो एक शिक्षकाचा पेशा स्वीकारायचा ईस्ट एंड लंडनमध्ये त्यांनी ही शिक्षकाची नोकरी स्वीकारली आणि ते विशेषत मोठ्या वर्गाला शिकवत होते वाईल रीडिंग द नॉव्हेल वी हॅव टू अंडरस्टँड दॅट द टाइम पिरियड विन इज स्टोरी टेक्स प्लेस इज व्हेरी इम्पॉर्टंट ब्रेथवेस्ट फाइंड दॅट इवन दो कन्सिडर हिमसेल्फ ब्रिटिश अँड सर्व इन द रॉयल एअर फोर्स इंग्लिश डू नॉट कन्सिडर हिम टू बी वन ऑफ दॅम दिस लिव्स ब्रेथवेट टू फील बीटर अबाउट इंग्लिश अँड कलोनिझम ॲज वेल ॲज अबाउट द व्हाईट स्टुडंट In the second paragraph the writer has explained he was thinking himself as a british because he was he was he was living in the same country so he was thinking himself as a british and he was working as as a as a server as a employee in royal air force but the students from the same country were not giving the respect as a white so there was always bitter experiences were coming in the mind of the writer and he was always was always heading to that colonialism and about the white students like i mantu ki me ya इंग्लंड मध्ये राहतो इंग्लंड चा मी नागरिक काय असतो त्याच्या मनामध्ये मनोधारणा तयार झालेली होती आणि त्या मनोधारणेप्रमाणे वागत होता पण असं असताना सुद्धा सर्वात महत्वाची गोष्ट म्हणजे ब्रिटिश आर्मी मध्ये तो रॉयल एअरफोर्स मध्ये काम करतो तो स्वतःला ब्रिटिश समजतो पण ब्रिटिश लोक मात्र व्हाईट पीपल हे ए आर ब्रेथवेट याला मानायला तयार नाहीत आणि ज्या विद्यार्थ्यांना ज्या ज्या विद्यार्थ्यांना तो शिकवतोय ते विद्यार्थी सुद्धा त्याला विद्यार्थी सुद्धा मानायला तयार नाहीत आणि म्हणून त्या दिवसापासून या ब्रेथवेट याच्या मनामध्ये एक व्हाईट लोकांच्या विषयी श्वेतवर्णे लोकांच्या विषयी व एआर ब्रेथवेट याच्या मनामध्ये एक मोठ्या प्रमाणामध्ये कटुतेची भावना तयार होते आणि त्याला सर्वस्वी जबाबदार म्हणजे ब्रिटिशांचा जो वसाहतवाद आहे या वसाहतवादामधूनच त्याच्या कादंबरीनं खरं मूळ आकार घेतलेला आहे आणि म्हणून तो या सर्व बाबीवरती मोठ्या प्रमाणात टीका करतोय ब्रेथवेड स्टिचिंग पोझिशन स्टार्ट आउट रफली अँड एम्ब्रेस अ टाईम अँड अगेन ही कन्सिडर इज स्टुडंट डिसरिस्पेक्टफुल इल मॅनर्ड अँड मिच्युअस वायर द स्टुडंट कन्सिडर हिम टू बी अँड अरोगट आउटसायडर अनफॅमिलियर विथ अ सोशल एन्व्हायरमेंट इन विच दे हॅव ग्रोन अप द स्टुडंट हरास हिम डे वन फ्रॉम डे वन स्लॅमिंग देअर डेस्क ड्युरिंग द लेक्चर using soul howling soul language and bullying him great extent even the girls don't do not spare a moment to harass breathwet in a reaction to that breathwet verbally scold the girl for acting on a lady like manner and being unruly in the class the teaching method the teaching method of er breathwet was very simple so he was embraced by the white student when they are making fun of fun of the er breathwet and they so he was treating he the student in a ill manner and because the students were mischievous so the students were thinking him arrogant not only the white students were not only white students were making fun of him but also the lady students were also making fun of him those factors touched up to the mind of er brethwet so brethwet was scolding verbally scolding to those students he was not he was not uh, slamming to them he was verbally scolding to them because of their unruly behavior when he understood stands at the outburst has not gained him respect and operation cooperation from the student he changes his teaching and handling tactics and decides to interact with them though they were adult and respectable person he requests every girl be referred as miss and that is the students call him sir at first the student find the level of deference deference ridiculous unnecessary however they come around after only a few weeks 
completely changing both their hygiene and their attitude towards one another. This marks the success of Brethwet handling students in a very amicable way. When he had made the survey of boys students and girls students of white community, he came to conclusion that we must change our teaching method. Whenever we are changing our teaching method, definitely the student can student can understand my teaching very well. So he changed his teaching method and he was teaching in a simple manner to them and he was not taking any serious any serious taunting made by the girl or boy students. So he was calling girl students as a miss and girl students calling him a sir. And then there was a close relationship, close relationship between the writer and the student. And he was liked very much. He was liked very much to those white students because both of them had changed their attitude and handling students in an amicable way. Ata, here Brethwet has sought out a new way to handle it. That why the Vidyarthi and Vidyarthi need to learn adjust correctly. Not that, understand correctly. Not that, that is why they sought out a new way to handle it. That is why they sought out a new way to handle it. That is why they sought out a new way to handle it. That is why they sought out a new way to handle it. That is why they sought out a new way to handle it. That is why they sought out a new way to handle it. That is why they sought out a new way to handle it. गर्ल्स स्टूडेंट्सला मिस म्हणू लागला त्यावेळी त्या मुली त्यांना सऱ्या नावाने संबोधू लागल्या आणि अशा प्रकारे विद्यार्थी आणि विद्यार्थीने असा फरक त्यांनी कधी केला नाही सर्वांना समान मानत गेले आणि त्याच्यामुळं त्यांच्यामध्ये एक मोठ चांगल्या प्रकारचं विद्यार्थी आणि शिक्षक याचं नातं तयार झालं एकमेकाशी ऋणानुबद्ध तयार झाले आणि हेच आर्थर ब्रेथवेट याच्या यशाचं खरं गमक बनत गेलं एक आवडते शिक्षक विद्यार्थ्यामध्ये तयार झाले टू सक to increase the class cultural exposure he takes them to field trip excursion to museum theater even surprise many of the students have never been what female teacher gillian gillian branch gillian brancher accompanies the class to excursion this work is beginning of a friendship between blanchard and brathwaite similarly brathwaite's relationship with student is stressed many times for increasing the cultural exposure, year Brethwet had decided, decided to, decided to take his students in different types of the trips and excursion. When he had taken the students on excursion, that time there was a teacher. Her name was Gilligan, Gilligan Branchard. She so accompanied him. When both of them were in the same trip, she liked the nature of. She liked the nature of the writer and they would become best friends of each other and there was the close relationship between the students and the teacher. Although his students frequently disappoint and hurt him, he learns to forgive them. Students constantly surprise him with their maturity and empathy and knowledge. Sometimes the students were going to hurt to the teacher, but he had not taken seriously because I decided to treat them in a best way so that they can change their behavior. With that, I am not aware of that. I am very sure that I am not aware of that. But I am not aware of that. 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 The facet of story which greatly affects the narrative lies in a heavy history of colonialism. Dark consequences, mental and physical trauma, increase the breath rate, heart rate, wrath and British. He constantly feels prejudice and effect of colonialism. While living in England of the Second World War, the negative experience frequently shaped his thought and action. Breath rate surprised and shocked by the condition with these students live. The also physical trauma of the war can be seen throughout this teaching. Environment. In the last paragraph, the writer has explained that it is a heavy history of the colonialism. Colonialism was started in England. At the same time, his mind was shaped in the same atmosphere. Means there was physical and mental trauma was created in the created in the mind of the writer E. R. Brathwaite. But his hatred was against, 
his hatred was against the colonialism he did not like the second world war effects second second world war second world war effects and he had taken negative experiences of the second world war but the physical trauma of the war has changed the total total nature of the writer er brathwaite here ends the topic er brathwaite jo ahe yana dusra mahayudhacha darmyan jo vasatvad ahe ya vasatvada vishe ja kai कटु अनुभवत्यानं या ठिकाणी अनुभवलेले आणि त्याच्या मनामध्ये रॅशल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन जो आहे वांशिक वर्णभेद आहे या वांशिक वर्णभेदातून काळी काळी लोक कशी भरडली जातात या सर्व बाबीचं वर्णन त्यानं या सदरच्या कादंबरीमध्ये केलेलं आहे आणि यालाच त्याच्यामुळं मेंटल अँड फिजिकल ट्रॉमा या नावानं समजलं जातं इथं समरी ऑफ द नॉवेल संपते थँक्यू